is up, Combat Sports Nation. This is Matt Bissett. I'm fighting this Friday, April 22nd, for Bellator MMA against Keith Richardson at 145 pounds. I do have a pretty quick turnaround from my last fight, uh, as I fought six weeks ago for CES MMA. Um, I knew that I was going to be fighting on this Bellator card uh, maybe like a month before I even signed the contract for CES. So um, it was always the goal to um, whoever I was fighting get in there, beat him up, and uh, heal in a few days, and then come back and be prepared for my Bellator fight. So, um, you know, it was a quick fight against Tori, and I came out unscathed. So, uh, yeah, looking to do the same thing against Keith. So he's actually pretty well-rounded, but he does favor the ground. Um, it, his stand-up is kind of basic, but it works for him. So I definitely can't... Um, sleep on his striking. Uh, that being said, um, I feel like my jiu-jitsu is better. My striking is much better. Um, he's got a wrestling background. I believe he was a state champion when he was in high school, uh, which is good for him, but, you know, this is MMA. And um, a state champion in high school only gets you so far. So, um, and I'm sure he knows that. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a good fight. He's not going to come out there and just try to grab me and wrestle me for three rounds. Um, I think that would be a <clears throat> a big uh, mistake on his part, but um, you know what? I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. He, he like I said, he's he's tough everywhere. Uh, I just feel like I'm a little bit better. So the game plan against Kama was to take it to the ground and submit him. Um, he was just so long that it was like it was really tough to get inside and actually do that. So I was like, all right, you want to stand? We'll stand. And uh, that's kind of what happened with that one. As far as Roddy, Roddy pulled guard, and then I couldn't really even strike with a guy guy pulls guard he doesn't want to strike with you um and i ended up submitting with the heel hook there and uh tori i, I saw the neck and i went for the neck and i ended up on bottom and uh you know i saw the triangle i got the triangle so it's it's whatever's there um i don't try to push anything um uh, because i feel like if you try to force something it tends to not happen so i mean if keith leaves his chin out there uh, i'm gonna smack him um, or kick him, or knee him, or elbow him, I'm going to attack his chin. Um, if he leaves his liver out there, I'm going to attack that. Uh, if he decides he wants to go to the ground, and the scramble ensues, take down whatever, goes to the ground, I'm going to look for the submission. I'm always looking to finish. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it could end up standing, uh, or, or it, could, it could end standing or on the ground, um, but if I get the submission against another submission guy, you're going to be like, all right, you're just picking on guys. <laughs> um, but you know that's not the case it just kind of happens that way I guess I think we're pretty equal uh, in certain cases but um, I think I'm probably a little bit better um, on the ground I think I'm kind of a lot better striking but uh, you know we'll see we'll see if it if it's a good fight three rounds then that's awesome uh, if not then I'll probably finish it in the first or second um, but you know whatever he gives me I'm going to take I've been around for quite a while now, close to 10 years, fought 24 times, I've fought everybody, so uh, I've seen everything, so whatever he brings to the table, I've seen it, and uh, you know, I'm just ready to fight, man, I'm excited. I've played out certain situations, stuff that he likes to do, um, stuff I would do from that position if he were to attempt certain things. I'm going to guess a uh, second round. TKO, knockout, stoppage, something with the hands, with the strikes. Second round. Fans can expect from me the same exact thing that I put out there. The same product I put out every single fight. It's going to be an exciting entrance. It's going to be an exciting exit. And in between, it's going to be an exciting fight. Um, Keith comes to kill, and I come to kill. And that makes for an awesome fight. Um, as soon as um, Keith said yes to this fight and I said yes to this fight I was I was super pumped uh, because the dude's got um, a really really nice style for me um, and a really nice style for the fans so this one should be really fun so hope everybody enjoys it I'll do a quick shout out to my teammates um, at Underdog Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Fighting Arts Academy um, those guys are always there for me every fight and uh, you know if I if I need them to show up at a certain time 
to drill something, to practice something. Um, they, a lot of them change their schedules around for me, and um, you know that's a that's what teammates do. That's a that's what best friends do. That's what family does. So um, shout out to them, uh, Johnny Lopez, Carlos Candelario. Those two guys uh, have made a big difference for me for this <clears throat> training camp, um, and my coach Russell Leak, who is um, the backbone over at Underdog Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and he holds things together really well. And um, you know, shout out to him. Thank you for always being there, my friend. Uh, thank you to my fans. Um, I love you guys. So from the first fight to the 25th fight here, uh, the same people are showing up every time. And, uh, you know, that, that means a lot to me. And, um, you know, it just, just goes to show that, you know, if you put on a good show and you're a good person, people stay with you no matter what. I've had seven losses. I'm not going to have an eighth loss. And, um, you know, Friday's not going to be any different when I get out there. It's going to be, you're going to see the Mangler. You're not going to see Matt Passet. You're going to see the Mangler. Peace out, guys. Thank you.